Hello lovely church family, it's Sue here from Christ the Rock Christian Fellowship in Yate and welcome to our dwell session for this week um, which involves me and my lovely daughter Lizzie um, who I need to reassure you is a household member because <laughs> I will be spitting over her during this um, with my flute to help me. But not just generally. Not generally, but she has got me back during lockdown because she spat over me with her clarinet as well. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, but she's going to be playing piano. No spitting. Time. No spitting involved at all. Um, so um, I hope and pray that during this time um, of sun worship, actually not all sung, I'm going to be playing my flute quite a bit of the time, that you um, can either join in and sing or just enjoy listening and that it helps you and all of us. I just really pray that it will help us to connect with God and to realise that we can rely on him and that he's here with us, whatever we're going through, um, and willing to give us strength for it. Um, I'd like to just read a verse first from Isaiah 40, verse 27 on. Why would you ever complain, O Jacob, or whine, Israel, saying, God has lost track of me. He doesn't care what happens to me. Don't you know anything? Haven't you been listening? God doesn't come and go. God lasts. He's creator of all you can see or imagine. He doesn't get tired out, doesn't pause to catch his breath, and he knows everything inside and out. He energises those who get tired, gives fresh strength to dropouts. For even young people tire and drop out, young folk in their prime stumble and fall. But those who wait upon God get fresh strength. They spread their wings and soar like eagles. They run and don't get tired. They walk and don't lag behind. Thank you. 
So we're going to carry on in a minute with several more songs, but just as we spend time in God's presence, let's just wait on him. Think about anything you're particularly waiting for answers for or his help with. I read this recently in a quiet time thought it was a good test of whether we're waiting well. We know we're waiting well when we truly experience peace in God's pauses and plans. The peace is demonstrated in the resting of our thoughts and actions. Our real focus becomes a deep and abiding relationship with the person of our faith rather than manipulating our circumstances to receive the object of our wait. Straight in.
I'm with you.